What's good, sports fans? It's your boy Damian Adams here from The Real Deal with Damian Adams and the Third and Three Podcast. Coming to you with a new series where I'm comparing athletes from different sports and showing you how their careers are very similar, but for some reason they're viewed very differently when it comes to their legacies. So today I'm going to be comparing Mike Tyson and Derrick Rose. Now, Mike Tyson came out to start his career like a ball of fire, right? 85 through 89, he is 37 and 0, absolutely killing it. Becomes the youngest heavyweight champion of all time and probably compiles the best highlight reel in boxing history. Now, in 1990, he runs into Buster Douglas. This is supposed to be an easy victory for him, but he gets knocked out and he's never the same after that. There were legal trouble and during the 1990s, was never able to beat the best of the best. Evander Holyfield, Lance Lewis, didn't face others like Riddick Bowe and David Tua and Hussein Rockman and others during that era. But it's still beloved by boxing fans and viewed as an all-time great because of what he did in his early years. Now, Derrick Rose, first three years, came out like a ball of fire. Rookie of the year. His second year, he improves on that in every category. It gets even better. Third year, does that again and becomes the youngest MVP in NBA history at 22 years old. A little deja vu, right? Then his fourth year, deals with injuries the entire season, tears his ACL in the playoffs, which causes him to miss the entire next season, and then he's never the same after that. He has to adjust and become a role player, a very good one, but he's never an all-star again, but still beloved by NBA fans because of what he did in his early years. Sound familiar? Now, where this gets to be unfamiliar is the way they're viewed. Derrick Rose is viewed as a guy who had all-time great potential, but was robbed of that by injuries. Mike Tyson, even though he never reached all-time great levels by beating the best of the best, is still viewed as an all-time great. People think of him as a Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar level boxer, when in actuality, he's the Derrick Rose of boxing. Tell me how I'm tripping.